Welcome to our third annual holiday nail art series with me, Sarah, from Sarah's Nail Secrets. And Talia from Talia's Nail Tales. This year we're doing 12 designs, but we're going to space them out a little bit different so the series lasts until Christmas. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a tutorial. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Welcome to day 12, everyone. Day 12 is themed Christmas florals, and you guys are going to get a special treat today because we have my mom here, which means we're going to do a watch me work instead of a tutorial. If you haven't watched one of my watch me works before, I leave some of the commentary between my client and I in so you guys can see the process and kind of the behind the scenes of creating the different sets that we come up with. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. Sit back, relax, grab a coffee or a tea or a wine or a bevy because it's going to be a long one. Video up yet, actually. No, I know you haven't. And these just broke today. Oh, really? Yep, these other ones oh, broke weird. a little longer, but those ones just Your broke dinky today. pinky. My dinky pinky. Yeah, this video will go up in January. <laughs> Marvelous. Yeah. The series has just been taking over. My pointer fingers. Look at these. Oh, yeah, you want them um, I want them rebuilt? shaped. Okay. Yeah. Both of them are so incredibly crooked. Well, let's them. do them clear then if we have to zip them off yeah. anyway. Yeah. But if you look at them, they're, sideways, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're skewed. Mine does that too. Yeah. I not, blame you. Not that much. Not that much. But let's be fair. These are like, what, eight weeks old? Eight weeks old. <laughs> okay, so. this is our inspiration for today. Is this sleeper. This is Rose's sleeper, but Violet has a very similar one. My <laughs> angel. You're going to try and get that camera, aren't you? One. I don't see any gold on that. We can incorporate gold Thank into you. it. Do you want gold? Yes, I want gold. I just love this. I was actually, I, I thought this was the color we're going for. Yeah, this. but it's the florals that I love. Yeah. Because you're winter floral. This with or Christmas like floral. a vanilla bean or whatever the other one is that you like. And or even a bright light and gold. Oh, see, I was, oh, I thought this color might be more red, but it's not. Like, I thought it was more like this. Oh. You know what one I think is, though? I'm going to pull it because I have a pink. No, I think. You think it's okay? What color is that? Like this. No, but what color oh, is Oh, Jester. Last year's, winter, last year's fall, I think. You're like, you should be late bullish. I'll be late bullish. <laughs> <That's laughs> year. But I think that'll be good. And I think we'll do your floral nails on these two because I want crystals. And if I leave this one blank, I'll just want to put crystals on it. I do no, that every no, time. No, no, we can't do that. And so these two, these two floral. your florals, and then and crystals and sugar. <laughs> do you want sugar? I don't unlike sugar. Can I do green sugar? No. I've, we've done it before though. You liked it, didn't you? <laughs> you liked it. I want red, white, and gold with a splash of green. What do you mean red? We're not doing any red. Well, burgundy, red. Uh, whatever this color is you want to call it. Jester. Jester white gold. That's not at all the tones. Of greens. You see the tones? Yeah. The pinks? Oh. Well, what pink are you thinking of? Well, I think the pink I'll incorporate from stamping. Okay. And then gold. <laughs> I can do gold. I do want gold. I want a... Yeah. a uh, what kind of gold? Like a... Not a yellow gold? No, I like this gold. Do you want to use that one? I don't know, but I like this gold. I leave it entirely up to you which gold, but no, I don't want yellow gold. I want white gold or, yellow, or this kind of gold. I need to grab my return spin. Uh, well, I thought you got rid of that. <laughs> I got rid of the drawer. <laughs> okay, let's be fair. I've been doing a lot of nails lately. I'll do a vlog on returning all this. No! This is it. It's like keeping. But I think you want hashtag glam. And it's in here somewhere. Hashtag glam. I should check my drawer to make sure that it's not in there first. Okay, let's do there. You got pop the bubbly here, so that's not it. That might be a good one, actually. Oh, see, hashtag glam's in the drawer. We there we go. need to see the bin. That one was returned. Is that, that is this one, isn't it? Nope, this is I Missed You. Oh, okay. Wow. This is, I Missed You is like if this one and Silver had a baby. Wow. Would you rather have this one? I like that one. Okay. So are we talk what flower shape are we talking? Are we talking poinsettias? No, I think I just, for the florals, I just want the tones. I, they don't have to be like actual Christmas flowers. Because yeah, these so aren't Christmas flowers, but the tones totally make it look not. like winter. See, and this is what I was thinking. If you had a white background and had that color, you could make that, but you'd have to be stamping. I don't even know if I have a color like that um, for stamping. No, 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 uh, for poinsettias. But I'm, you must have poinsettias on one of your mm -hmm. plates. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I want white because <clears throat> I want this to be the focus. Okay. And white kind of takes over when you use white. 
<gasps> you know what we should do? Like a, Some like frozen a, flowers or something. Like I want to make it look like your flowers are frozen in your nails. Cool. cool. We should do the tinfoil thing. Cool. Okay, I'll go get tinfoil. While I file my mom's nails off here, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about the new e-file that I have. So I do have the Medicool Pro Power 35K Portable Special Edition <laughs> Rose Gold e-file, and this is from Can West. I just recently got this e-file in, and so I'm still playing around with it and getting my groove for it. Keep in mind the e-file that I had previously, I had been using for nine years. So I feel like with any new tool, there's kind of like a learning curve with it, which is what I'm trying to figure out before I do like a review video on it for you guys. Uh, but so far I'm really liking it and my mom noticed a difference like right away when I started filing uh, with how well it was filing off and how smooth it was and she also made a comment about how quiet it was too so that was nice. I will have an unboxing and first impressions and mini kind of review coming up in the new year on this e-file uh, but I have been using it for the last few weeks and I just wanted to give you guys a little update that I am enjoying it but that that video is coming soon. So obviously that video was filmed like before me using it on my mom here because I did film an unboxing and a first impressions video but I did want to kind of touch on it in this video just saying that I am really enjoy using it and I look forward to telling you guys a little bit more about my thoughts on it in the new year. Once my mom's nails are all prepped and ready to go, I am going to apply a form on her pointer fingers because we are going to build a new extension on them. We are gonna make them clear, but I'm gonna show you guys a trick to kind of make them look kind of like icicles. And I know I've done this before, I just cannot remember if I have a video on it or not. Uh, so this is a really fun way to make the nails look like all crinkly and you take some tin foil to do it. So you guys are gonna see that process. You wanna like, Crinkle it a lot, I think. Full on winging this one. Even though I have done this before, it's been a long time. I can't really remember how I did it. <laughs> so I'm honestly just kind of going, flying by the seat of my pants when I'm doing this, but I really just wanted the foil to be really crinkly. And this is actually like an inexpensive foil and I found it to work a little bit better than something that's a little bit more stiff because it kind of fit underneath it a little bit better. So once I have the foil all crinkled up on the form, I'm gonna go in with some Effusions Clear Base and just apply that uh, to her natural nail. Now, usually I would cure this in between but I am just gonna go in with some of the fusion sculpture which is what I have been using to build my extensions lately and I'm really liking it thanks to ivory for telling me about this gel for building extensions and I'm just going to build out her nail now I actually because of the little lines are covered up when I'm doing this I didn't really pay attention to how long I wanted her nail and ended up making it shorter than I meant to especially when you're doing like a long kind of crinkly nail like this you do want it a bit longer so you can see the the actual crinkliness once it's cured. Ooh, I think it worked. Yes. Yep. Hopefully that's a similar length to the rest of your nails. Ooh, might be a little of a short side. <laughs> I am gonna go in with some of my Fusion Clear Base on top of all of the nails that I have prepped as well as over top of that extension that I just built. I find that if I go over top of my extensions with Clear Base after they have cured, it gives it a little bit more strength for when I'm gonna file the shape. And I feel like it works a little bit better. Your extensions don't break off while you're filing and also it feels better for your clients because they have that strength on the nails. After that has cured, I'm just gonna wipe off my dispersion layer and file to shape. I like to do this so that when I put the color on top, it sits where it's gonna be and you're less likely to have to file out any color after you've done your finished file as well. And I am using the Light Elegance Lexi files to file to shape. I love these things. I rave about them because I feel like they basically just do the work for you. I absolutely love how stiff they are. I love the shape of them. Um, the 100, 180 grit is my preferred one, but I've even had to use, I think it's 180, 240 before. So it's not quite as um, aggressive, I guess, as a file. And it works really well too, especially for your clients that don't have as long a nails. This grit works great for your clients that have longer nails or if you have to do a lot of filing. And I'm just trying to remove a little bit of the tin foil on the back of her nail there, but if you don't get it at all, it's okay because it kind of just looks like ice left in between the nails if you end up leaving some of it. 
That'll still be pretty long. Well, Mom, don't move. Sorry, right. didn't know I did. You did. I should have looked at you. Well, that one's short now. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> In order to make the nails look like they're kind of floating in that crackled nail that we just built, I want to embed my stamping. So I'm just looking through my stamping book, my floral one here, to find the stamping plate that I want to use. And I'm going to use the watercolor florals plate from Clear Jelly because I love how abstract it looks, which is kind of what the sleeper design is that we're going for here. So I'm going to pull that out and get all my stamping stuff ready to go. But as we were doing this, we decided that we should embed a little bit of like a sparkle before we do any sort of stamping. That way it kind of looks like the flowers are sitting on top of that sparkle. So I'm taking some of Light Elegance's sequence of events, which is just kind of like a mylar glitter. There's, It's not super opaque, so it works really well for this design. I'm gonna put it all over her nails, cure. Then I'm gonna go in with some Fusion SL Clear and just slightly embed this. That way I can file to shape it before I go in with stamping. I did not create an apex or anything. It's just a thin layer over top of it so that I can add my next layer. You're not going right to the end though, eh? Well, I wanted to poke through it a little bit, but I don't like, the problem with clear nails, I don't like to see your natural growth. True. So I, I do end up covering some True. of it up. That's fine. I agree with you. I see what you're saying. Oh, you don't want me to cover that entire end up like I just did. Yes. You want to cover up the growth part? By all means, do so. But, but I think yeah. you should leave that end exposed. I totally agree. exposed. I agree with you. I tried to find stamping polish tones that match the sleepers. So we're going to go in with this burgundy color and then we're going to go in with this kind of peachy rosy pink on top of it and then hot pink right in the center which is what the sleeper had on it. And then I'm going to take some greenery as well and kind of surround this nail with some different green tones. I feel like floral nails are just not complete unless you put some greenery on it. Uh, it really just kind of makes everything tie together and my favorite green here is, I'll leave it in the description box below because I could not remember the number but it's so so sparkly and I love adding it in contrast with some other greens from clear jelly as well I was thinking that I would try and do like a sugar effect on top of these flowers but like embedded so I'm just gonna kind of outline some of the different lines in here using some of my ugly duckling uh, tack free top coat and then I'm gonna go in with the nail team snowdrop pigment so it's not like a sugar it's not a glitter it's an actual pigment that you can do like chrome with uh, just because it's so so sparkly so I decided to like dump this on her nails like I would uh, sugar and then cure it but then when I brushed it off I wasn't I don't know if I really loved it like it, it looked really good I love how sparkly it is but I just think well, you guys will see. Oh, it might be too sparkly, Mom. I think we might have lost our flower. It's it's intense. Yeah, I think it might have been too sparkly. This matches your flower nicely. It does. That's a beautiful color. I feel like I've never really used this color. Well, feel free to do it on all, all my nails if you want. You like it? It's a beautiful color. It's a you color. Hey, I'm it's like good. if you were to wear pink. If I were to wear <laughs> pink, this is yes. This is kind of a ready pink, but it definitely has a, a pink tinge to it. It's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Lately, when I've been applying my colors, I've been trying to implement uh, Sarah's tips for when she works with gel by just kind of going in with like almost like a slip layer, like a really thin coat of gel down first and then going in with just a little bit of a bigger bead while it's still wet and making sure that it's all even and there's no shadows with it. And I've been finding that I've been able to get really close to the cuticles this way and a lot closer on the sidewalls too. So I'm really glad that Sarah's been doing a couple more like gel videos lately, uh, especially in this Christmas series, if you guys haven't been watching them, because she has some really good tips on how to work with gel and I love implementing them.
On her pinky nail, we are going to take some of that hashtag glam and just cover the entire nail with it. Originally, I was thinking that we were just going to leave this as a gold nail and do nothing else with it, but you guys are going to see down the road that we're going to add some stamping on top of it. What was your favorite um, Christmas design so far? Reiterate them for me again. What was there? The bling, the snowflake, tropical. Tropical so far. Really? But none of those are my colors. No, but they're I not. Did, but I loved it. But none of those Really? Are my Why colors. did you like it so much? Just say, middle of Christmas and or middle of winter and what are you thinking? And, and you actually tied it all in beautifully. Thank you. The black was harsh. I know. I, I, I don't know if white would have been better or if like, I don't know. I, I wish I would have toned it down a little bit. The presents, it wasn't too bad, but the dangling uh, ornaments, I didn't really like. You could have used gold. Would it have stood out enough though? Yeah, it would have. If you have a nice fine gold, oh, positively that would have stood out nice. Even if I would have like accented it in gold. I get a lot of requests from you guys to do like a real time tutorial. So if that is something you guys are, are really interested in and I get a lot of uh, feedback for that, I can try and do that in the new year for you guys. But that's kind of why I'm not really speeding up a ton of these clips is because I know a lot of you guys want to see kind of how it looks in real time here. So all I'm doing here is embedding all of these colors with my Fusion SL Clear. I go down with a little bit of a slip layer and then a bigger bead to just kind of encapsulate everything. But I did want to show you guys just how cool this looks with with like the flowers kind of embedded like this. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And we are going to jump to after a finished file nail after this. When I'm stamping the flowers, I'm alternating between colors that kind of match the background, just a little bit darker, um, different shades of rosy pinks and some hot pinks as well as those green elements that I told you guys about. why you stamp the leaves last not first uh because if you stamp it depends sometimes the colors if you stamp over top of them the leaves you can like still see the color through. See the green through yeah but sometimes it does look nice to stamp them on the bottom depending on the color that you use This nail turned out to be my favorite. I loved that I stamped the greenery first because it kind of gave me like a guideline of where the flower would go as well. And these little leaves that are on the clear jelly plate are some of my favorite. I love incorporating them into floral nails. So then I go in and stab the big flower in the center and I just really love how this come to get, comes together, especially once we get some top gloss on top of it. On the clear nails, I did decide to go in with some stamping on top of the finished file nail as well. This way it kind of gives a little bit of layers to the flowers. But on this nail, all I decided to add was a little bit of extra greenery. On her ring finger is where we decided to do a crystal cluster. So I'm going to take this embellishment from Be Me Beauty Box. It is in rose gold. I'm also going to go in the center of it with a rose gold Swarovski crystal, which is size 12, I believe, fits in the center of these really nicely. And I'm going to take some of my Ugly Duckling Stick It and put it down with one of these kind of pinky rose gold crystal colors. I believe this one is called um, Vintage Rose, but it looks a little bit darker than Vintage Rose, so it might be called something else. Then I'm going to surround the circle embellishment with some other crystals that kind of match the colors of the rest of the nails. So I'm going in with some Siam, which is a really nice dark red, and then some light rose as well as some light Colorado Topaz, I believe, is what the gold color is. Then I'm going to cure this, and after I've cured this, I'm going to go in with just a small crystal at the very tip of the nails just to kind of make it look like jewelry on her nails. On the thumbnail, I decided to do a crystal cluster in the corner. I know when I wear Swarovski crystals, I love to have like my thumbnail kind of have something on the corner, but that's probably because of filming because it shows up really good in videos. Anyway, I still like to do this exact same pattern on my clients too, whether it is crystals or glitters, just like kind of as a corner accent. So we are going to go in with uh, some fuchsia, is the dark pink in the middle, and then we're going to go in with some light rose, some rose gold, uh, some light Colorado topaz, and just kind of randomly place them all over the nails. I love doing like random crystal color 
like clusters like this. Back to her ring finger once it is cured, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more gel to just fill in any gaps. It's hard to find them. It's hard to find pens that I love. I am picky about my pens too. And when I find them and someone wants to borrow one off my desk, no, here, take these crappy ones. Yes, no, you don't get the I good pens. I these crappy ones on the desk for people like you. <laughs> Mom. No, you don't bring a pen to my desk to write something <laughs> down? Get the crappy ones. Do you, have you, do you ever lend your good pen to no. people and then they're no. like, wow, this is a really nice pen. I did, yes, and that's my big mistake, so I won't do it again. That insurance guy that came, he was using that pen, the Pilot G Taxi's floor pen, and he's like, this is a really nice pen. And I was like, I know. <laughs> he's got a nice pen though. He's got a heavy weighted pen. And it's a sharp pen, which it is, is what, so. why he liked the Pilot one. <laughs> but I don't know if you can really tell it that it's like a flower. <laughs> oh, this turned out pretty, Mom. How does it look with that chrome underneath? It looks okay. Like, it looks pretty. I just, I think it takes away from it being a flower. Okay. But I'm going to um, top gloss, or do I not top gloss under here? Was that my mistake last know. time? I don't remember, honey. I wanted to leave top glossing over top of this nail in the video because I just think this nail turned out so pretty. Now I did not top gloss underneath the extension which is what you would typically do for clear extensions because I'm pretty sure when I did that last time it took away from the crinkled effect of it. While I was top glossing is when I realized that I wanted to go in on the gold nails and stamp some snowflakes that kind of match the colors of the rest of the nails. This was not a necessary step, but I do like how it turned out. And then I did add some Swarovski crystals to the center of this nail as well. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. This is up there with one of my top sets for this series too. I love how I was able to take the girls' sleepers as inspiration for this design. As soon as I saw them, I was like, these need to go on nails. So I'm really glad that I was able to do that and match the sleeper, I think, pretty darn well. But I really like that we were able to do kind of an icicle, flower floating and ice type of nail too. This turned out really nice. I love this set so much and I know my mom does too. But I hope you guys enjoyed the watch me work video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Christmas series. I had so much fun filming it this year. I love doing these theme sets like this and doing something like completely crazy on my clients at this time of year. Make sure you head on over to Sarah's channel and see what she came up with for Christmas florals as well. It's this really fun stamped set and I really like the tones and color combinations that she put together for it. I do want to give you guys a huge thank you for all of your support on this Christmas series. I love doing this collaboration with Sarah every single year and I'm hoping that we can continue it next year as well. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow for the conclusion of Vlogmas. I can't wait to show you guys what I have in store for you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.